Hey, I want to show you how I modified my 18 volt adapter that would pop right in an 18 volt DeWalt drill and it would click right in and then you just use your new battery your lithium battery instead of these old ones, in this case the 14 volt they're hard to find and uh, they're still they're pretty expensive, they have shorter life, they have battery memory, all the bad things so we're gonna adapt this 18 volt adapter into this 14 volt angle drill, the wall angle drill. It doesn't just snap right in. So I'm not the first to do this. I just saw somebody else do this. I wanted to pick up somebody else's ideas first. The only thing is he didn't show you how he modified it and he also glued it into the tool which I want to do something a little neater and better. So I'm going to show you what I do really quick. Okay so as you know These adapters are for the 18 volt upgrade. So they'll pop right in. This is the shape of your battery for your 18 volt tool. And it's got these square ends right here. Now your battery does not have that. And that's what's stopping it from going in. Other than these two tabs right here, and one on each side. Okay? and they gotta go because they don't line up either you can see that so they're gonna go and then I'm gonna do something different to make it stay in the drill the needing time there's no reason for me to take this out it could stay in the drill forever and I bought these are knockoffs I bought them for under twenty dollars I think probably around fifteen I can't remember but I'm gonna put the link link on it I got mine off of eBay Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is modify my battery adapter. I'm going to have it very lightly clamped in a vise. You want to do that very lightly because you'll crack the rest of the plastic. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a hacksaw to cut the corners off. I'm going to try to go down level to the bottom. If you go a little too far, who cares? Get the other side. I'm down to the bottom and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that piece off there we go and it, it's going to have a little hole now it's not going to hurt anything you can see the little tiny hole there but now it's almost round so let's just test it out to see how the tool fits it, it may even go on at this point okay so let's do the next thing which is cut the tabs off I'm gonna just do the same thing I think actually you know what I'm gonna do this give me a second I'm just gonna use this and basically sand it off so let's get this out of the vise for a second I'll lay this up here so you can see. See how nice that is? That's why I chose this tool. And if you don't have it, a hacksaw will work just fine. Okay. Let's try it out. Okay, it's it's not going in yet. And I think the reason is it's because where I modified it and cut the edges off, it's not quite round. There's a little bit left. And again, you could shave that down with just about anything. It's a little bit on the there's a little bit of squareness left, and I think that's the problem. So I'm gonna use the same sander. Okay, I just worked off a little bit of a kind of a still a squareness and I also feel a little bit right here so 
I think I'm going to hit it right there. Try that. Yeah, and like I said, it makes holes. Doesn't matter. It's not coming. I'm leaving it in the drill. I buy one of these for each of my tools. And look at that. It's just about a perfect match. It's a little bit of a gap. And I believe it's due to this part right here. So I may grind that off too, this little tab. So I can get it in there as tight as I can. And again, it's plastic, so it just pretty much comes off in a hurry, even starts to melt. Another test ride here. Nice. Okay, that's right up tight. And now I'm going to show you how I want to attach it. All right, now all that's left is to attach our adapter because it fits in our drill very nicely. That's the initials of the guy that gave this to me. So there we go. Now, what I'm going to do instead of gluing it, I think I'm going to drill screws probably two screws right to this this section here it drops in a little bit it's like a key right there and the reason I think that's there is for this catch to uh, clip into once it pops in and you get that click it goes in there so you can see it's not as wide as this whole groove right here so if I stay to the outsides it should be fine so what I intend to do is drill those two holes while it's still in the drill just to hold it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a bigger drill bit than the screws I'm going to use. So we're going to use our 12 volt lithium drill to do the job. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to drill way up in here, to the in to almost to the outside, and I want to drill a hole Okay, there's one. There's two. Okay, and it didn't pop through the other side, so I'm going to do that while I'm holding it. Okay, see where that popped in? Right, so we'll do another one. And it's hard to hold it and show you at the same time with a drill piercing drill, but okay there you, there you got it. Okay. Now the reason I drill these two holes bigger is I don't want the screw to find any resistance uh, going through this part. I want to drill the resistance to be in here because that's going to be our gripping surface. Now you can see this isn't a very thick area here, probably like a half inch at its, at its thicker, maybe a little more five eighths at its thickest area. So what I want to do is I want to pick the appropriate length screws that just pop through here and have just enough meat to grab in this lower section and then uh, not pop through the top. If it did, it did, but I'm going to try not to. So hold on. Alright, one of the things I'm also going to do is because I couldn't find self-tapping screws that I like, I'm going to just make a pilot hole with a smaller drill bit than the screw I tend to use. and that'll put the holes in the bottom of the drill for the screws to catch in. So it ju it'll just help the screws not to crack the plastic when they go in. So I did find the screw length that I like. I'm putting them in now. Okay. You can see how much that sticks up. It's not very much, but I don't, like I said, I don't want, I'm trying to avoid having it pop through the other side of the drill. And here's the other one. And this isn't really going to have much pressure on it anyway. And the, the, the new battery goes this way. You're not putting any force this way to get it in and out. So now I'm going to just take it, pop it in here. 
and you can see my screws had popped back up at me and hopefully they find the pilot holes that I made which it feels like it did I should zoom out a little bit you get the idea you can block it too much and here comes the next guy They turn nicely right into the base of the drill, into the plastic, the yellow plastic. And there they are. I have to take four of this guy's battery. Okay, pop it in. And we got nothing. Alright, so let's try that again. So we got our battery popping in. And what happened is, I, I just got this, it was given to me. And I didn't realize that the forward reverse was in between, and so it doesn't go in either direction. So, it does work. There we go. That's the uh, high-low. And then we have direction. So, switch direction. So, there we go. That's a nice modification and I'm leaving this in there and then I'm going to leave you the link because the DeWalt sells these and they're quite expensive right now but they're the knockoffs I haven't had any trouble I have them in several drills a reciprocating saw and also a impact driver so that's a great mod these batteries are superior they charge faster they don't have battery memory they're lighter so I hope you like this video. I hope it helps people. Thanks for watching.